The Basics of Architectural Styles by Jeremy Jocelyn. The Carpenter Gothic Style. The Carpenter Gothic style became common in North America in the late 19th century. It adapted Gothic elements such as pointed arches, steep gables, and towers. The development of mass production of wood moldings helped new homes mimic the high Gothic look. The characteristics of Carpenter Gothic include elements like pointed arched windows, steep gables, towers, and jigsaw details. The style is used for small domestic buildings and small churches. The idea is to mimic the high Gothic styles used in the late medieval period on buildings like large churches. The Chantasieu style. The history of the Chantasieu style is based on French Chantasieu's of the 16th century in the Loire Valley of France. It is a revival style and it was used between the 1880s and the 1900s and where it became common among wealthy people. Some of the characteristics of the Chantisque style are steeply pitched hip roofs that come to a point or small flat roof, multiple roof lines, stone finished veneers, turrets or towers with steep conical roofs, and they sometimes have windows and doors that resemble Gothic influence. The Chicago School Style Chicago School is a term that refers to skyscraper architecture during 1879 to 1910. It was developed by designer engineer William Lebron Jennings and multiple other architects. One reason it was named after Chicago was because it was the location of the development of this design. Some examples of this design are the first letter building, the Montica building, and the home insurance building. Some characteristics of the Chicago school style are mostly steel frame buildings with masonry cladding, with lots of windows and minimal exterior ornaments, except at the top usually. The Chicago window originated from these designs that allowed lots of natural light and ventilation. The Classical Revival, Jeffersonian Classicism, and Roman Classicism styles. All of the above are also known as a form of Neoclassicism architecture. This was the one to resemble Roman and ancient Greek art and design. First used as far back as the 16th century during the Italian Renaissance, Cla classicalism was used in many forms of art before architecture. As time passed, new buildings were made in Europe after these ideas and eventually were adopted in the United States. Jefferson classicalism was Thomas Jefferson's take on classicalism. He designed his own house, the Monticello building. Uh, the buildings at University of Virginia that he founded and other political friends' houses. Some characteristics of this style is that it resembles ancient Greek and Roman architecture with repetitive columns and arches, the use of dome roofs and stone and marble structures. Jefferson incorporated octagon and octagonal forms in his designs. The Contemporary Architectural Style The Contemporary Architectural Style is architecture of the 21st century to today's architecture. 
or modern architecture was primary prevalent in the United States and Western Europe. Contemporary architecture is used everywhere. The contemporary architectural style became more possible with the use of computer-aided design programs because of the complexity and the accuracy needed to build these buildings. Some characteristics of contemporary architectural styles are the use of complex modern art designs and the use of many different design styles. So there is no precise definition. They usually have large open rooms or spaces, oversized windows for abundant natural light. They incorporate eco-friendly designs with re and use recycled building materials. Contemporary buildings are usually very personalized buildings. The Cotswood Cottage architectural style. The Cotswood Cottage is based off of the Cotswood region of England, also referred as Tudor Cottages. They're sometimes referred to as a storybook style house. Some characteristics of the Cotswood style are they're usually made of pseudo thatch made with steep arch gables and arch doorways. Made of brick, stone, or stucco, and the rooms are commonly small and irregular. Often it has a prominent chimney near the front of the house. The counter culture architectural style became popular in the 1960s and 70s with the countercultural movement, otherwise known as the hippie movement, mostly built in southwestern and western United States. The main ideas for these buildings was sustainability and to minimize environmental impact. Some of the first countercultural buildings were first pioneered by Sim Van Der Rye, Ian McHarg, and Brendan and Robert Vale. Some characteristics of the countercultural style are domes made of wood, steel, and glass. They usually use steel frames and glass and wood panels. Most countercultural styles usually only consisted of one room, except for larger domes with lofts and other stories. The Craftsman Architectural Style The Craftsman Architectural Style developed out of the British Arts and Crafts movement since the 1860s, which was a movement against the Industrial Revolution. This movement encouraged originality, handicraft, and individualism. The craftsman architectural style incorporated building objects that are both simple and elegant. Some characteristics of the craftsman architectural style are low pitched roofs, deep eaves with exposed rafters, decorative knee braces. They're usually one to one and a half stories tall with built-in cabinetry, large fireplaces, dormers, and many fine details, including things like hammered metalwork. Most craftsman houses were based off a of bungalow style, but the difference is distinguished by the fine details and excellent worksmanship. The Creole Cottage Style most common in the Gulf Coast region, the Creole Cottage style is used in states like Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi. Thought, it is thought to evolve from French and Spanish colonial house forms. Some characteristics of the Creole Cottage architectural style are full front porches, high gable roofs parallel to the street 
and some older styles often had doors that went out to the porch for multiple main rooms. They're often built up from the front property line too. The cubic architectural style. Cubic architectural style originated in the 20th century. It is most common from 1995 to today and it was used during the Cubism movement. Characteristics of a Cuba's cubic architectural style are that they are made to resemble basic geo geometric shapes like squares and very blocky designs. They're usually one to two stories tall and they're built out of steel with large glass windows and other materials. The Dutch colonial architectural style. The Dutch colonial architectural style originated from Dutch settlers in New York, Delaware, New Jersey, and Western Connecticut. They built these houses with styles familiar to the ways of the regions in Europe with, from which they originated. Some characteristics of the Dutch colonial architectural style is that they usually resembled barns with gabled roofs and flaring eaves. They're usually made of brick and stone and they're anywhere from one to one and a half to two stories tall. Early Classical Revival The Early Classical Revival architectural style was developed at the end of the 18th century to reflect ancient buildings of Roman Greece. The difference between Early Classical Revival and other styles with similar ideas was that Early Classical Revival actually tries to recreate the ancient structures rather than adopting just their architectural details. Thomas Jefferson promoted these styles in his Jefferson, Jeffersonian Classical. Some characteristics of Early Classical Revival was a full height entry porch with pendiment and columns. The lunette windows in porcel pendiments, elliptical fan light over the paneled front door, symmetrically aligned windows and door, side gables or low pitch hip roofs, and large windows and doors. The East Lake architectural style. East Lake architectural style is an American 19th century movement in architecture and household design started by Charles East Lake. Some say it's part of the Queen Anne style of Victorian architecture with added decorative style ornaments, but others say it's a category all on its own. Charles East Lake ideas or his idea was that people should use furniture and decor made by hand and made with pride. Some characteristics of the East Lake architectural styles are often noted for its geometric, more massive forms than the Queen Anne buildings. They resemble Queen Anne buildings, but with added lathe shape and jigsaw wood forms and other ornamentation objects. The Electric Style The Electric Architectural Style is a 19th and 20th century style and incorporates many different earlier styles to cre create something completely original. Instead of imitating past styles like revival work, this style expressed more freedom. It is used on many different structures, including personal homes, public and, and co public and commercial buildings. Some characteristics of this style is that this method incorporated many architectural styles from Dutch colonial, Gothic, to Greek and Roman revival. So it has a little bit of everything.